The whole design process um, at SpaceX, uh, at least back in, in this, back in 2008, 2009, when they were really in startup mode, uh, was significantly different from traditional aerospace. In fact, uh, it was well known that people who would come from either NASA or traditional aerospace uh, to SpaceX uh, would suffer a certain amount of culture shock getting used to the, this uh, startup method of operating. Uh, for example, requirements, I never once saw a requirements document uh, when we were working at SpaceX developing the thermal protection system. Uh, essentially, Elon wanted a heat shield for his Dragon capsule. Uh, it had to be able to um, do Earth returns, but he also wanted it capable of doing lunar returns. That was pretty much it. That was the requirement document and so then we worked in what you might call a, uh, a collaborative design environment to come up with the heat shield that was compatible with the structure, with the propulsion system, with av avionics and the other subsystems to give a successful Dragon capsule. So uh, yeah, there's no formal, at least at that time, there was no formal requirements uh, document that you typically would see under uh, a traditional aerospace approach where we spend a lot of time uh, putting together fairly detailed sets of requirements, particularly for all the different subsystems. Um, I didn't see any of that. I didn't witness any of it. Now from, that, now, from that period of time when they were really doing a lot of development to today, they have brought in more of a production approach. They have gone to more requirements, documents, and configuration control. But at the time, back in 2008, they were very much in startup mode.